Um, I want to explain how you have to how you can install the Nasdaq robot and uh, how it's gonna be automatically. So you don't need to do so many stuff. It's very simple and easy. What you have to do. Uh, this is my file where I put all of them. How I need to put them. Then uh, the next thing that I have to do is to is to do what to copy this. Uh, let me just deactivate first these things. I'm sure it's gonna give us problem. Okay. So uh, as you have to do, this is the the file. Please check properly. Please check properly how these things is working. So the first thing that I have to do is to copy the two file of VPI. I copy them. I come to my this file. I go to file. Open data folder. I go to MQL4. I go to indicators. Don't create any other file where you have to pull them. What you have to do, you just paste them inside the default indicator as you can check on top there in inside the default indicators so i'm done for the dpi if you check you'll see them there if you want to check to confirm DPI, DPI. yeah you see they're there then uh, the second thing that i have to do is go to expert expert then from expert what i have to do i just come here to my file I copy this SAR, also the two of them. I copy them, you can do like this, copy. Then I come to this file here, I paste them here. I paste them, you see they appear there, they are here also. Then uh, the third thing that I have to do, I just come to uh, King Nazi, I just copy that one also. I go to the file. Uh, so yeah, I go to this file, then uh, I go and look for templates. I select template. Don't don't create any file of template. You just copy and paste them on template. So you can paste them on template. You see, it's gonna appear also beside there. It is. Is there? Okay. Here I'm done. That is the first part you have to do. You don't need to put all the indicators at once. Just put the first one, then close everything can close everything that is there uh, yeah you can close let me just close it like this you can close everything then after that you reopen it again so after you open it then, uh, it's gonna appear like this without the, those uh, indicators so then the next thing that you have to do you just go to uh, your file at the, the navigator then from navigator if you want you can do from navigator because the dpi is there or you can go to insert then you go to custom custom then you see the dpi is somewhere there then you click the dpi make sure you are the dpi then you allow it you see the dpi it's appearing here so uh, the second thing that you have to do is uh, you go to um, you go to expert advice is there then you click sir double click it you don't need to modify anything you just click ok you're gonna see it's gonna appear here this side so let us wait for it to appear there it's taking a bit time Sure, maybe must be connection that is giving stress. But it has to appear there. What is happening? It's like the market is not moving. Uh, wait a bit. It's already show the sign that is going to appear here. I'm gonna pause the, the, the video and see what is happening, then I'm gonna come back. Okay, there we go. It's up here already is there. 
as you can check showing the dpi is going down this is the dpi then the next thing that you have to do is uh, uh, to go to you just put your your, uh, your template that is the last part of this face part you put the template then you can see the indicator is smiling already and uh, what you have to do you you, you put the uh, auto trade auto trade you go again back to the indicators uh, to template then you put it again you can see the indicators is smiling so it's working then uh, <coughs> as you can put like this indicator, you can either come to expert advice to modify your you go to property modify your your, your lot size you, i can put 0 0.01 that is when the trades want to take automatically and then you do like that so what i was also explaining to you if you guys remember they're saying you must put the auto trading active i'm sure we are done with the first part this is the first part as you can check i don't put so many stuff i just put only these two on list three then what I have to do right now, so I have to cancel this one uh, either. Okay, so I'm done with this part. Let me just put the other indicators now, the one that remain. Remember the file that the way it is. So you go to open data folder again. After you finish to install all the face uh, system, you can see uh, everything is working perfect as the DPI is up. So everything is working perfect as you can check. So please, 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 please follow all the steps that I'm just showing you guys. Then we can see even it's showing that um, I need to place a trade because in this account there is no money. And check this ROA. Can you see the ROA is pointing down? So it's showing that GBP is still going down almost 70 pips. That is going to go down again. So I have my GBP USD. I think it's the right time for me to close it now. Yeah, as you can check. So if I click yes, supposed to take a trade, but since I don't have money in the account, it's not gonna take any trade. Let us move to the second part. Second part is I go to file, open data folder, MQL, I go to indicators, I leave the windows open. Then uh, since I've got my file here, where there is all the system, so now I have to copy this one and the support and demand. So I copy them. I copy them, I come and paste them in the default indicators. Uh, let me just paste like this. So I come and paste them in the default indicators. As you can check, the support is there. Then uh, the other one, which must be a bit up here, is there also. Then the next one and the last one is the default template. I just copy the default template. Then I go to template also. Uh, this is template. I paste it in template. As you can check, also it's gonna appear here. Uh, default template is also there. So I close everything now. Even the GP, uh, GP the GP market platform, I close it. What I have to do, I reopen it again. <coughs> this is where the problem is. Where so many people they fail to. Uh, to make these things working perfect so after i close this one what i have to do i just go to uh, to this part let me close this window i close this window then let me open a new one as you can check i didn't apply any other stuff on the on the on, on the chart only the first three one the one that i did before so the second i now I, if i open the new one you see it's gonna pick up all the stuff even the new one that i just put but i didn't apply it on the chart can you see that so now everything here is uh, automatically so there is no need for you to worry how is not working i'm not picking up the system automatically now from here so every minute the dpi is changing the direction you're gonna receive a pop-up message and remember we say you need to follow the rules. Follow the rules is let's say if you see the berry arami, you just take your sell. If you see the bullish angelfin, you take your trade. The dark cloud, you take your trade also. You take your sell trade. 
this was an example of a cell threat our cell is now if you see this one bully cross 